Come on. Good girl. I'm Albert. She's Mia. Do you know how long it took me to teach Mia clicker training? One week. Clicker training is super simple and you can teach your cat almost anything with classic conditioning or clicker training or mark and reward. What's exactly clicker training? Clicker training basically focuses on the behaviors that you want to see more on your cat. Ow, 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 shush. Cats are going to repeat behaviors that give them what they want, aka treats. So you might be wondering, where does the clicker come to play? The clicker or marker, it's going to indicate your cat the exact moment where he or she is doing what you want them to do. Mia, come here. Good girl. The clicker training is fairly simple. You're going to be able to teach your cat almost anything with this system. Okay, let's get into it. Three steps to clicker train your cat. Step number one, don't free feed your cat. Step number two, charge the clicker. Step number three, start marking those behaviors that you want to see more often on your cat. And that's it. <laughs> Step number one, don't free feed your cat. Having free access to food, it's going to make your cat less eager to perform the behaviors that you want them to repeat. Because at the end, the way that you have to pay them, it's with treats. So put your cat on a schedule. I feed me a three times a day, but there's plenty of people that do it twice and that works perfectly fine as well. For instance, Mia, she's a kitty. And I know that when mealtime is close, she's not really going to listen. She is so eager to eat that she's going to be focused on the treats that I have on my hand or my pocket instead of focusing on what I'm asking her to do. I won't be able to train her after I've fed her. I won't be able to train her either if she is super hungry. Get to know your cat, see what moment is best. But rule number one, don't free feed your cat. Step number two, charging the clicker. This is the most important step. If your cat doesn't understand that the noise produced by this device is going to give them food, they're never going to understand that you're trying to reinforce a behavior afterwards. Do not make the sound if you're not going to treat your cat. You want to make sure that whenever this device makes a sound, your cat knows that something good happened. Otherwise, you're going to mess the whole thing. What you're going to do to charge the clicker is produce the sound and immediately after give the reward, give a treat. Because I drink with Mia quite a lot, I do not use treats. If I use treats, I make sure that I divide them in three or four pieces instead of giving a full treat because otherwise she would be full and stop listening to me in two minutes. So instead of using treats, I use scribble. It's going to take a while for your cat to understand that after this sound comes a reward. So you want to do this for a while. three, four times a day, sessions of five minutes during a week. Consistency is key. Step number three, marking those behaviors that we want them to repeat. The sound produced by this device, it's pretty unique, so it's going to be easier to make sure that the cat links this sound and this sound only with the behavior that we want them to repeat. You can use any sound producing device that's going to have a sound that's different enough that your cat is not going to expect the treat for no reason. But my recommendation, Go to Amazon, buy these ones. I think this one costs $3. No big deal. So you want to produce the sound the exact moment your cat does the behavior that you want to see more often. Scratching your cat tree instead of scratching your sofa. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Step number one, don't free feed your cat. Step number two, charge the clicker. And step number three, start marking the exact moment where your cat does those behaviors that you want to see more often. The first trick that I taught Mia was finger targeting. Finger targeting means that when I produce this movement, she's going to try to touch my finger with her nose. This is super useful because I can ask her to go somewhere just by pointing with my finger. That was the first trick and after that came many others. Get her into the carrier. Get her on my shoulder. Get her on my bike. If you want to learn how to finger target, click in the link. If you want to learn how to do any specific trick, write it on the comments. And if you like the video, you know, like it. Thank you and see you soon.